Greetings, friends. Reform Stoic here, coming to take Southern Israelites bait one final time. I thought about whether or not I should make this response because looking over Southern Israelites' channel and kind of thinking about the direction his channel has taken ever since my dramatic leaving from his Discord and his group, it seems like his channel has kind of become bait for me because there's not a lot of people watching the videos. There's not a lot of subscribers. If I respond to a video, this is a response to, there is a price tag on your life, accept the brutal reality. It's just going to bring viewers to his channel. I'm going to go ahead and take the bait one final time, my friends, because I believe that this is the death blow to what his platform has become. This video will be titled something along the lines of Southern Israelite does not teach about Jesus Christ. There is one quote from Christ that Southern Israelite leans on. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. That's Matthew 5, 17 from the King James Bible. So he starts there and he uses that to lead you over to the Old Testament from the Old Covenant where he teaches Judaism. Basically, and I don't mean this in a derogatory sense, Southern Israelite is a Jewish individual teaching Judaism and using his straw man against Christianity as Neoplatonism to point you away from the Christian religion and point you away from the teachings of Jesus Christ so that he can teach you his Old Testament, Old Covenant, Torah-based Jewish religion, which is fine. Hey, you know, if you want to be Jewish, not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, so in Southern Israelites' latest video, there is a price tag on your life except the brutal reality. He teaches you about how all that matters is money as a man, like more or less to be worth to be worth anything in this life in the eyes of God, you have to make a lot of money. Um, he leaves up this screenshot from Dabney's A Defense of Virginia. So he's not even using the Bible. And then he highlights the word soul. He does a search for the word soul. And it says, By confounding the master's right to the slave's labor with a pretended property in his conscience, soul and whole personality abolitionists have attempted to represent property in man as a self-evident wrong. So, what he's trying to suggest here is that Dabney is saying that you can't put a price tag on a man's soul, and then, of course, Southern Israelite goes into his diatribe about how there is no soul, um, he even boasts empiricism, which I thought was strange because he's actually the one who pointed out to me the logical positivist's refutation of empiricism. And then also he, he also, he traditionally boasted up Noam Chomsky's philosophy. Um, Noam Chomsky has some excellent refutations of empiricism as well. So I thought that's kind of odd that he's boasting empiricism. I think what he meant to say was um, materialism. It seems like he's kind of forgetting a lot of the basics of philosophy, which isn't really a surprise to me. You guys, he didn't teach these things about the importance of money and working 60-hour weeks. He didn't teach these things until I left his Discord. So the Israelites very upset. I was a very promising protege of his. Until I saw through what he was about. Very shortly after I saw through what he was about, I started getting targeted. I'm not exactly sure if he's the entire reason that's happening. But based off of the direction his channel has taken, I'm pretty sure that he's a honeypot. As I've pointed out in the past, I'm just going to go ahead and read you 
some of the things that Jesus Christ had to say about money. And then just affirm to you that Southern Israelite has never quoted Jesus Christ outside of Matthew 5.17, where he says that I've not come to destroy the law of the prophets, I have not come to destroy but to fulfill. And he uses that to say, see, Jesus isn't, he's not trying to destroy the Old Testament. And then all of his teachings are from the Old Testament. For the most part, um, he, he did have some teachings from Paul, but now he boasts up this stuff about, you know, Christians are sexual failures. Like, you know, the Bible's trying to teach you game or PUA or to be some sort of a woman slayer. I mean, actually, Paul, you know, taught the importance of marriage and that ultimately if you could go without a wife that you should but he taught marriage as a means of not fornicating because fornication is bad it's a sin related to lust so this whole these rants he goes on about being a sexual failure well the bible actually teaches against fornication and any sex outside of marriage is fornication um, he was saying that the elite loves Christianity because it turns men into sexual failures. Well, actually, Christians are some of the only people left who are having anything close to a healthy marriage these days. He, he, he's teaching that Christianity is meant to depopulate the world. Um, that's very strange because the majority of Western people in Western society were Christian in times where marriages were thriving and, you know, lots of, lots of Christians were having families. Ultimately, Vatican II and its acceptance of birth control and then atheists, you know, you know, not being sexual failures, using lots of birth control to not have kids. I mean, guys, is anybody even really paying attention to this? Probably none of you even watched his video until you watched my video talking about it. But let's go ahead and take a look at what Jesus had to say about money. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chapter here. Um, this is the NIV. Let's go ahead and do... Well, let's do the ESV. Okay, Matthew 6. It talks about giving to the needy, the Lord's Prayer. So this is Matthew 6, 21. Let's go ahead and start from there. Let's go ahead and start from lay up treasures in heaven. This is 6, 19, Matthew. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Oh, wow, here's Christ implying that, you know, earthly things don't really matter because this is where rust destroys and where thieves break in and steal. So is is Jesus Christ mentally masturbating, Southern Israelite? Is Jesus Christ a mentally masturbating neat? Or is he the son of God who is teaching the word of God in the new covenant? Um, let's start Matthew 6, 20 now. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. So, if your eye is healthy, your whole body be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. So as we see Matthew 6, 19 through 24, this section labeled lay up your treasures in heaven. Christ is basically saying that earthly things don't matter. Well, was Jesus Christ a Gnostic? I mean, I think it's time to ask Southern Israelite, what do you think about Jesus Christ, buddy? I mean, we know that you don't think that he's part of God. We know you don't believe in the Trinity. Do you think he's the son of God? I mean, do you think that there's any value in the teachings of Christ at all? Because I don't know. I mean, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. The only time I've ever heard Southern Israelite quote Jesus Christ is for 
Um, where was it? Where was it? Did I exit out of it? The verse that I've already mentioned before from Matthew. For I have not come to do away with the law and the prophets. I've come to fulfill them. But right here we see Jesus saying, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Oh, wow. So Jesus is basically saying that money doesn't really matter at all. Which completely goes against the teachings of Southern Israelites' latest video. But he's not quoting Christ or even the Bible at all. He's looking at um, a defense of Virginia from Dabney. And he's not sourcing Dabney. He's pointing out that he mentioned something about putting a price on the soul. And then he goes into his rant about how there is no soul. Is anybody kind of starting to have some of the same realizations that I have? I don't think Southern Israelite teaches anything that Christ teaches. Basically, anytime you quote anything that Christ teaches, it, it absolutely demolishes everything Southern Israelite teaches. I mean, he tells you he tells you full up that he wants to destroy Christianity. He's a Judaizer. He's doing the Judaizing heresy. Here's Matthew 19.21. Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect... Go sell all your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. Well, that's not, isn't that mentally masturbating? Oh, he's going to be a mentally masturbating neat following Christ? Huh. Weird. Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters. Yep, we already went over that one. You cannot serve both God and money. Um, What else do we got here? Oh, 1 Timothy 6.10. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Oh my gosh, I, that's talking about people like Southern Israelite. Yikes, 1 first, first Timothy 6.10 literally speaks directly against Southern Israelite. Oh my god, this is a mess. This is a mess for them. That's hard on them Southern Israelite boys. Matthew 21, 12, 13. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. Wow, you know, Jesus is not really a big fan of money changers or really much of anything having to do with money. Give away your treasures on earth. Do not covet treasures on earth for you will have treasures in heaven. But it's, but it's all about this life. There's, there's no floaty place. But that's, that's not what Jesus said. Are you ever going to teach us anything about the gospel, Southern Israelite? Why don't, you, why don't you give us a great big lesson on the teachings of Christ, Southern Israelite? Because, gosh, come to think of it, when I was in your Discord before you started teaching any of this emphasis on worldly possessions and money, you didn't teach anything about Jesus Christ. I don't think you like Jesus Christ. Maybe that's why you're trying to destroy Christianity, where for anybody who forgot, you know, Christ, Christianity, it's a religion founded on the teachings of Jesus Christ, which Southern Israelite fully admits he wants to destroy because the technocrats love Christianity because it's depopulating the earth, but there's a direct correlation with with the failed marriages and, and the end of traditional Christianity. I mean, now we're seeing a rise in atheism and well, feminists aren't Christians and obviously atheists aren't Christians. And I'll tell you what, I was going to a Baptist church here for a while and I just couldn't tell you how many married women and children I saw. Oh, I'm sorry. How many, how many married men and women I saw with loads of women and children. It was intimidating. I went to these dinners where I was the only person who wasn't married. Everybody was married, and they got women, and they got children just crawling all over the place, grabbing on their legs. Dad, Dad, where's my rattle? Where's my baba? Um, yeah, I, I think the people having kids and families these days are, are all Christian. So as far as like Christianity being a, a depopulation agenda, I mean, Malthusianism, gee, doesn't Malthusianism only go back to like, gosh, like the late 1700s at absolute earliest. And well, Christianity existed well before that. And I don't think there was a population there. I don't think there was a depopulation agenda before that. So gosh, I mean, 
when you think about it that way, well, everything Southern Israelites teaching is just complete unfounded nonsense. And he's basically just pulling an unfounded spur grant out of his butt while he stares at a page of Dabney with uh, the word soul highlighted. I mean, here's 1 Timothy 6, 17 through 19. Maybe we can get some clarity here. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Oh, hope in God and not in wealth. Wow, that's in 1 Timothy. Gosh. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. I mean... Does the technocratic elite love the Gospels? Does the technocratic elite love 1 Timothy? I, I, You know, guys, and that's it. And that's the death blow to Southern Israelites' entire platform and everything he's ever been about or worked towards. But does anybody even care? I mean, all he's really talked about since I left is me on some level. I mean, his whole entire platform was thrown out of the window so he can complain about Neitz and boast up the emphasis of money. Jesus loves you guys, regardless of whether or not you're rich or you're poor. I will say that if you want to have a good chance to have a family and to be successful in terms of like family and finding love, you should have something to provide as a man in terms of money. If you're someone who's walking a path where you're not especially like successful financially, then you might need to consider that getting married isn't for you. And you know, according to Paul, that's fine. Paul actually says that if you can go without having a woman in your life, that you should. Um, so that's it. That's like everything Southern Israelite has taught for the last two years. Absolutely refuted into pieces. I'm not reading Dabney. I'm not reading Dabney. I'm reading the Bible. I'm reading the Gospels. I'm reading the New Testament, which I think if you read anything from the New Testament, uh, Southern Israelite starts to hiss and scream. And <sighs> I, I really would implore you, people who follow Southern Israelite, ask him about Jesus Christ. Just say the words, Jesus Christ, in the presence of Drake Shelton, because... I think you'll you'll notice a really negative response to that name, to that holy name, the Son of God, one of the three members of the Trinity. I don't think Southern Israelite likes Jesus, which is why he doesn't teach anything about Jesus, which is why he doesn't ever quote Jesus or the Gospels, which is why he takes the one quote, I have not come to do away with the prophets or the law, which takes him over to the Old Testament where he can teach the Old Covenant and the Jewish religion. God loves you guys. Jesus teaches you not to hate your enemies, but to love your enemies. Do you need me to pull up the verses for that? Or can you just look it up yourself? Because I think everybody knows that. Jesus tells you to be nice. The golden rule. Treat others the way that you want to be treated. Um, give up your worldly treasures in this world of rust and thieves and robbers so that you can have treasures in heaven. Now, is heaven going to be on earth after the resurrection? Sure, absolutely. I mean, it doesn't really matter whether or not heaven is a floaty place or not. It's not right now. We're not in heaven right now. So don't worry about worldly treasures and worldly things because you will have riches in heaven assuming you're a good christian and you do what christ told you for the new covenant to love your enemies and to be good to people and to be nice not to uh, obsess over people for years and treat people like garbage and pay people to make memes about people that's not what jesus taught guys but southern israelite doesn't like jesus i'm just gonna go ahead and say it um southern israelites platform refuted destroyed biblically and that's the last time i'll ever talk about him on my channel god bless